You know, it's wild when you think about it. Elon Musk's fingerprints are on almost every frontier of modern technology, from rockets to robots, AI to clean energy. So when someone asked him, Are you sincerely trying to save the world? He simply said, Well, I'm trying to do good things. And that simple statement has now evolved into one of Tesla's most surprising moves ever. From that spirit of innovation to bold, real-world action, Tesla is now preparing to introduce what many are calling its most radical powertrain to date, a hydrogen-based water engine, combining hydrogen combustion with a high-efficiency water injection system. This could completely redefine how we think about performance, sustainability, and the very future of clean mobility. But the question everyone's asking right now is, where will this begin? Will it debut in the Model 3 and Model Y? Will it launch alongside the affordable upcoming Model 2? Or could it even power the mighty Tesla Semi once this next-gen engine reaches production? Whichever path Tesla takes, one thing is certain. This breakthrough could transform not only how we drive, but how we refuel, maintain, and even price Tesla vehicles in the years ahead. Before we dive deeper, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and support Future Drive Hub. And don't forget to tap the notification bell, so you never miss any of Tesla's next big moves. Because as you already know, in the world of Elon Musk, one update can rewrite the entire future. Now, what exactly makes Tesla's new water engine so revolutionary? This isn't just another step forward. It's a full-blown reversal of everything Elon Musk used to say about hydrogen. For years, Musk called hydrogen fuel cells. Fuel cells mocking their inefficiency compared to pure battery EVs. But in a stunning turn of events, Tesla is now actively testing a hydrogen combustion engine enhanced with a precision water injection system, signaling a massive strategic pivot for the company. Insiders are calling it Musk's boldest and most unexpected move since the creation of the original Roadster. Early reports suggest that Tesla's prototype draws inspiration from cutting-edge research by Austria's AVL Racetech, who in collaboration with Hungary's Humda Laboratory, developed a 2.0-liter high-performance hydrogen internal combustion engine featuring, yes, advanced water injection. Their results were shocking. The prototype produced 410 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque, all while running nearly emission-free, generating only water as a byproduct. To put it simply, this isn't science fiction anymore. This is science catching up to Elon Musk's imagination. By late 2022, the hydrogen industry had already reached a turning point. According to data from Wood Mackenzie, global hydrogen projects had achieved a total production capacity of over 11 million tons annually. Countries like Spain accounted for almost 20% of the world's newly completed hydrogen infrastructure, proof that the world was finally investing heavily in hydrogen as a clean energy source. So where does Tesla come in? Tesla's secret weapon is in how it uses hydrogen, not as a fuel cell, but as a combustion source, made more efficient and stable through the use of precision water injection. Traditional hydrogen combustion engines often struggle with pre-ignition and high cylinder pressures, making them unstable at high power levels. But Tesla's water injection system cools the combustion chamber, allowing for a smoother and more powerful burn while preventing premature ignition. This makes the system not only more reliable, but also capable of producing sustained high performance over long durations. It's the same problem that's kept pure electric motorsports from truly replacing combustion racing, electric systems overheat, and hydrogen engines struggle to stabilize. But Tesla's combined hydrogen water combustion design could change that. And let's be honest, if any company could make hydrogen cool, it's Tesla. Now, the numbers are where it gets wild. That 2.0-liter hydrogen engine with water injection reached a specific power density of 205 horsepower per liter, rivaling some of the most advanced high-performance petrol engines ever made. And because the only byproduct is water vapor, this technology could represent one of the cleanest ways ever devised to extract raw, mechanical power. Even more impressive? AVL's engineers have confirmed that such engines could compete in top-tier racing, formula-level performance with zero emissions. Ellen Lohr, AVL Motorsports director and a former racer, said it best. 
we can now deliver an extremely competitive package that brings motorsport closer to sustainability. And that's the same principle Tesla is running with, bridging raw power and sustainability. Imagine this, dedicated hydrogen highways, next-generation water refueling hubs, and engines that don't need fossil fuels, just hydrogen and water. The dream of emission-free power isn't theoretical anymore. It's happening. If Tesla's new system can push EV range beyond 600 miles, would that finally end your range anxiety? Drop a 1 in the comments for yes or a 2 for no. I spend hours digging through Tesla patents, factory leaks, and Elon's cryptic late-night tweets so you don't have to. While others are asleep, I'm connecting the dots, bringing you the most accurate, up-to-date Tesla stories. But YouTube doesn't always show my videos to everyone. So if you love Tesla, and you don't want to wake up one morning to find out you missed the biggest energy revolution of the decade, go ahead and smash that subscribe button for future Drive Hub right now. Because one update in Tesla's world can change everything. Now let's talk performance. This new water hydrogen hybrid system could be Tesla's most powerful and efficient powertrain yet, possibly reshaping its entire 2025 lineup. Take the Model Y Juniper. Right now, it's equipped with a dual motor setup pushing 456 horsepower and 497 lbft of torque. With the hydrogen hybrid system, that could jump to 520 plus horsepower and 550 plus lbft cutting the 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint from 3.5 seconds to an insane 2.8 seconds, while keeping the same practical SUV form. That's supercar speed, in a family crossover. Even better, this new system could double the lifespan of Tesla batteries. Currently, the Model Y's pack loses around 5% capacity after 18 to 24 months of regular use. But early data suggests that hydrogen assistance could extend that to 36 to 48 months before similar wear, drastically improving long-term value. The Model 3 would see similar gains. Its long-range variant currently manages around 358 miles per charge. With the new hybrid system, it could exceed 410 miles on a single tank charge cycle, a 14% efficiency boost. That beats the BMW i4 and Polestar 2 comfortably. Even its thermal system gets smarter. With water injection actively managing combustion temperatures, performance remains stable across a much wider range, from 10 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius, solving one of the biggest complaints about EVs, range loss and extreme weather. But the real game changer might be the upcoming Model Q, Tesla's $25,000 affordable compact car. Using a smaller 45 kilowatt hour battery combined with a 100 kilowatts hydrogen system, it could easily deliver 350 plus miles of range, 250 horsepower, and 0 to 60 miles per hour in about 5.2 seconds, all while undercutting the Chevrolet Bolt and Hyundai Kona on both performance and charging convenience. And since hydrogen refueling can take under 5 minutes, this could be the first affordable EV that's genuinely practical for long-distance travel. Now picture the Tesla Semi with this technology. The current electric-only version achieves around 500 miles per charge. But with water-hydrogen hybrid integration, range could reach 1,100 miles. That's more than double, while improving efficiency by 20%. And because refueling hydrogen is much faster than charging, Tesla Semis could cut downtime drastically saving operators $15,000 to $20,000 per truck per year. For logistics companies, that's not just innovation, that's an economic revolution. Now let's talk scalability, because none of this matters unless Tesla can make it work everywhere. The brilliance of the water engine system is that it can use existing supercharger stations. Tesla plans to upgrade them into dual-use H superchargers, combining high-speed DC charging with compact hydrogen dispensers and on-site electrolysis powered by solar megapacks. So instead of depending on massive hydrogen supply chains, each supercharger could produce its own hydrogen locally during off-peak hours. That means lower logistics, cleaner hydrogen, and faster turnaround for both EVs and hybrids. Since hydrogen refueling takes only 5 to 10 minutes, station throughput skyrockets, more cars serve per day, less waiting time. The economic side is just as powerful. 
hydrogen on-demand production flattens grid peaks and lowers costs, while hybrid vehicles draw fewer deep battery cycles, extending pack life and reducing replacement costs. Tesla's internal models already estimate a 12-18% to 18 lower total cost of ownership for long-haul operations. Safety? It's built right into the design. The hydrogen safety controller constantly cross-checks tank pressure, temperature, and sensor feedback. If anything goes out of range, the system shuts down in under 100 milliseconds and purges the lines automatically, minimizing any risk. And like every Tesla innovation, it's software-driven. Over-the-air updates tune the injector timing, combustion phasing, and even adapt the system to local hydrogen purity. So, no matter if you're in the cold of Norway or the heat of Dubai, the water engine keeps running at optimal efficiency. Even the hardware is modular, meaning Tesla can reuse most components across different models. A shared front motor inverter combo and a standardized rear hydrogen module make it possible for Model 3, Model Y, and Semi to all use the same foundation. That dramatically reduces costs and accelerates mass production. Now, let's step back and look at Elon Musk's strategy. In 2023, he called hydrogen fuel cells. Fuel cells. And yet, here we are, in 2025, talking about Tesla's hydrogen-based water engine. So, what changed? The answer lies in efficiency and control. Tesla isn't abandoning electric, it's enhancing it. Hydrogen is no longer the competitor, it's now the partner that complements batteries. While Toyota has poured over $7.2 billion into pure hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, Tesla's approach merges both worlds, battery and hydrogen combustion, to create a new kind of hybrid ecosystem. Toyota's Mirai produces around 152 horsepower and gets roughly 402 miles per tank, costing almost $50,000. Tesla's hybrid system could deliver 500-plus horsepower, over 600 miles of range, and still costs around the same or less. And here's where it gets even more strategic. Tesla's hybrid hydrogen system might eventually produce its own hydrogen on board using water electrolysis. That would slash operational costs by up to 40% compared to Toyota's external hydrogen supply chain. It's a brilliant hedge against resource dependency. C. China currently dominates about 80% of the global battery materials supply chain but it only controls around 20% of hydrogen production. So by diversifying into hydrogen, Tesla reduces its exposure, strengthens independence, and positions itself for faster scale-up. And scale is everything. Tesla's goal is still 20 million vehicles per year by 2030. The water engine could be the key to unlocking that. Because it's not just cleaner, it's faster to refuel, cheaper to maintain, and longer-lasting than batteries. This may well be the moment where Tesla doesn't just lead the EV race. It redefines the rules of clean mobility altogether. So, the question isn't if Tesla can do it. The question is, how far will they take it? Because once this hybrid hydrogen water engine hits mass production, the world won't just be talking about electric cars anymore. We'll be talking about hydrogen electric hybrids, the new face of zero emission power. One update can change everything. And if history's any guide, that update is already in motion. Stay tuned, stay curious, and don't forget to subscribe to Future Drive Hub, because in Tesla's world, the future always arrives faster than anyone expects.